Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. TCU will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. Good move. He's going to call for a fair catch. Florida State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Now he's scrambling. He chucks it downfield. The defender had it and then dropped it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Set. Hey. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Beatty is the punter. And down he goes at the 42. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Pass to the tight end, but he bottles it all away. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big play. Makes it out to about the 26. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Got some open field. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. He just drills this one. And he's going to call for a fair catch. TCU's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for him so far. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. The special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Under pressure. 
He dives and he'll be marked down. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. Looks like they're trying to catch the defense off guard here. Scrambling around. And a quick throw. And he's level at the 41-yard line. Over the middle, got his tight end. Tackle made at about the 41. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Under heavy pressure. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down around the six-yard line. He's scrambling. He's under pressure. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. So that's a six-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Florida State yet set to kick this one away. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Zips it to the tight end. Good tackle there in space. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. down after a nice run up the middle. He's taken down at the 28. Again with the run. Nice run to the outside. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. Welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. And he's taken down at the 12. Quick throw. Touchdown, T. 
HBCU. And he hits the PAT. They're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Signals for a fair catch. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Play action and rolling right. And now he's going to improvise. And down he goes at the 44. some time he's got the corner he gets hit out of bounds around the 41 yard line we've got a first and ten ball on the 41 He's going to try and scramble. Gets it. He's in space. He steps out right around the 20. He scrambled. Got his tight end. Touchdown. Tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Short kick, and he'll fair catch this one. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big play. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. He's into the open field. Touchdown. Big play. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. 
Calls for the fair catch. The Seminoles quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, you know, to look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is more important. On the move, throws complete to the tailback. They got four yards on that one. And it was a simple throw right back to the halfback, who did a good job of getting some positive yards on the play. Now he's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 23. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Tackle right around the 40. Scrambling around. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Wide out makes the first down catch. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43 yard line. to the receiver and he's got it again and he's tackled the 13 yard line he's on the run looks like he's gonna run touchdown Seminole They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. At the 30. The 50. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. And he's finally brought down at the four yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Good move. He's going to call for a fair catch. Florida State's roaring back. And they're within striking distance, right? Yeah, they've done a good job of kind of sticking with their game plan after a very slow start. Now you look up at the scoreboard, and right before the half, you're right back in the football game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Brought 
down. At about the 39 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He sails it long. In and out of his hands. They tried the same pass play, and it failed. Good job here by the defense. They put an end to that obvious belief by the offensive coordinator that the play would have worked multiple times. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Throw to the tight end. Touchdown, FSU! Make it two TD catches now. This guy is a great target in the passing game. You can see why the quarterback loves getting in the ball. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. the 17. We played a half and a 28-28 time. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sport. Number Welcome back to the action. The second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. <laughs> was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And they get nice yardage on that run. He makes his way out to about the 35. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's a gain of two on the way. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Cavalry's coming. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle made at the 43. Nice run up the middle. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's a team of 20 on the level. First and down. They'll run it. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a team of 6 on the level. That brings up 6 on the level. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. 
They'll bring him down around the eight yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. The halfback with a carry. Gets to about the five yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. TCU lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And he's going to call for a fair catch. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. scramble they bring him down it looks like the defensive end that got in there yes it was he did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down under heavy pressure going deep and got him he's taken down around the 12 yard line Scrambling, tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Florida State! He had the wherewithal to see the open space in front of him, and he just kept on zooming until he hit pay dirt. the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Florida State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. Winston's game so far, what we expected. He's a star. He's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. And he's done everything we expected and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to take a game over. And, you know, we've seen it all year with him. Uh, it's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today. But it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He always seems to be able to be in command of this offense. And uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gets out to around the 32. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number seven, the intended receiver. That makes it seven to ten.
good outside run there. Gain of six yards. That would make it in five. Scrambling around. And down he goes. Around the 39-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He's on the run. He might not be able to get the pass off. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. Just over a minute left. Fires it out. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's scrambling. He's under some heat. Slides down to the ground. Five wide. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. Tackle around the 15-yard line. Caught out in the open. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, and they take the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 81-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The Seminoles have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Under a minute left. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. tries to buy some time. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's pushed out of bounds at the 25. Scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Out of bounds around the 13-yard line. The Horn Frogs taking their first time out of the half.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Nearly intercepted. Florida State's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. Dives, and he's down. Williams gets about four yards on the play. Florida State will take their last time out. It's up. He got it. We're going to overtime. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Scrambling around. Deep pass to the end zone. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for me. That brings up second and five. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of four. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They're packed in tight on the line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Touchdown, TCU! Well, that's how you want to close it out. Don't leave anything to chance. This has been a fight all game long, but these guys really put it together in overtime. Now they've got a hard-earned celebration. Winston's play today, I think, shows again why he is one of the best in the country. Sadly for him, they don't get the victory. Well, he puts on a huge performance, and his team loses. I mean, hopefully he goes back and he talks to his teammates and tries to really help them get over this loss because it's not about his own performance. It's about the team losing the game. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.